Hi folks, I hope you're all doing really good. Um, yeah, I finally got uh, some orders in that were stuck in California. Um, let's see, first, then we'll take a look at, I had ordered a sheath for the Winchester clasp. Problem was, even though it was advertised as being six inches long, he sent me the one that is five and a quarter inches and the Winchester won't fit but no harm no foul because I needed one for the Puma Puma 4 star and as you'll see it fits perfectly for that so I don't know if I'm gonna try and order another one that's six inches long or not I'll have to figure that out but it's actually pretty well done it's handmade and it's an eBay seller you can see a good double stitching he uses some pretty cool rivets here in the snap I kind of like the old school snap but we got that in and also we got in the Winchester wind frame which is a multi-tool and Take a look, it's the Rough Rider Key Clump Canoe. And I already put it on, because I just couldn't wait. So, if you can see, I don't know if I'm getting in the lighting, but there she is. Fits perfect right in there. Amber Jig Bone. Both blades work fine. Fit and finish on it's pretty good. Nothing to complain about. Six six dollars five ninety nine I think it is. It might be six ninety nine. But there she goes. Kind of fits right next to the uh, Victorinox SD in green. But, first we have to tell the story, our subscriber Stuart sent this to me, there's a little story behind it, it's a massive, um, this isn't the real pouch that it fits in, and this might be the pouch I might use, because the Winchester clasp will fit in it, so I might swap it back and forth when I go camping. But anyway, he sent this to me, and it's kind of an oddity in the fact that it's one of them situations where you got a military um, product supplier, or a product, a product that's um, supplied to the military. BCB Cardiff out of the UK supplies the um, British military with a variety of different things. And they went ahead and made a bunch of these. Um, but it turns out that uh, Gerber and another con company actually won the contract. So they were stuck with these. Um, I don't know how he got his hands on it. I don't think they were sold to the pu public. They might have just been... Um, handed out or something I'm not sure how that went but um, yeah the British military ended up buying theirs uh, for um, from Gerber but uh, most most of the uh, soldiers went out and bought uh, Victorinox Huntsman's out on their own because they didn't even like the Gerber so but anyway take a look at this one this one I mean it's a beast one of your bigger multi-tools uh, let's see what we can probably measure it yeah it's about seven and a quarter inches long when it's opened up but it's pretty cool because you got, actually got a ruler on the back that's like nine inches long so this may be the one that I might put in my tackle box because I don't like to 
I don't know if this is going to fit in a fish's mouth, but I don't like to put my fingers in the fish's mouth. I don't like to clean fish. I don't like to cook fish. I actually don't like to even eat fish. That's why I usually catch them and release. But this one might be going into the toolbox or the one I've been using, which is this cheap Gillette Mach 3. Although this has saved me in my truck a couple times with a uh, faulty battery cable once, and I forgot what the other thing was. But uh, these pliers actually came in handy a couple times. But this is probably one I'm going to put in my toolbox. I'm not going to go through everything that's on this one. Um, I just want to show you the Winchester is really nice. And that's going to be the one that I'm going to keep in my truck. Because when I go, go camping or to my mom and dad's, it's usually a hundred mile drive each way. But this one here... You'll see this has got scissors, and what's cool about this is it actually locks in the back. Hear that? So it's not going anywhere. And the only way to undo it is to put a little tension on this spring by pulling up another tool, and then you can release it down. And this one here is for your nut driver or bit driver and that snaps right in he also sent me in this one is the little thing that holds all the different bits which is pretty cool and like I said this one locks it's not going anywhere. The only way you're going to move it back in is to pull back here, put a little tension on this lock here, and then you can put everything back. And on this side, got a pretty nice knife. I actually really like this thing. Stewart had told me that uh, he thinks that the Winchester wind frame is more suited for car troubles so that's why I got that because of the tools that that are involved but you got your sharp blade and once again you got to put tension on that spring and you can bring it back uh, a little saw I like this here too. Ouch! That hurt. A little bit of a reamer and um, forgot what those are for. Oh, that's like for threading through um, if you're going to do some leather work or something to try and get a lace through. But this one's pretty cool, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one in the truck or what just came in, which is the Winchester. And this is the one all you guys can get a hold of if you need one. I got it for $12 on sale. And it's well worth it. Good old Winchester wind frame. Let's take a look at this. Really nice uh, nylon pouch. This one's got some style to it. Here in the front part is your little clip with all your bits, the ones you may need. But this is better suited for like if you got problems on the interior of your vehicle. And this one's got a spring in it, so it's a lot easier to work. I had a bunch of wire that I was going to cut with it, but I left it at work. So I'm going to try and see if this will cut without rolling over on it. And it's always a good sign if it's a good cutter and it's rolling over. See that? It's got some wire inside. So I'm not sure it's probably going to be good for cutting thick wire. 
but as far as cutting some smaller or thinner gauge wire, I'm not too sure how it's going to work. So that didn't work out too good. Let's see if the uh, one out of the UK cuts it. No, it just rolls over too. But it's probably this material. I mean, it's not made for cutting that. It's actually scissors that probably cut that better. Or a knife. But let's go through the uh, parts on this really quick. Now these, all your tools are on the inside of the handle. Like I said, it's a nice spring. Um, if you look at the tip, it's nice and flush. I mean, you can't beat this thing for $12 if it holds up. And Stewart says he's still using his today after having it for quite a while. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Got a small knife, a saw. Here's uh, where your bit driver goes. It just pops right on there and it doesn't go anywhere. And you can throw a bit in and get your work done. So that's pretty sweet. Got a uh, can opener and cap lifter combo. This one doesn't lock up, which in some instances is probably better. Whoops, sorry about that. But having something that locks up is pretty good too. Here's a bigger knife, a little ruler. And a couple regular screwdrivers. Not sure if that's a screwdriver or some other tool. Maybe someone can help me out with what to use this for. It has a um, tapered edge. I guess I could read the instruction book. <laughs> but I mean it's got your main things there um, something to keep in the glove box and really not bad for the price so if you guys need a I know they make the little micro minis and stuff the leather men and but I mean you're still gonna pay for the micro I think you're still gonna pay like 40 bucks for it so there you have it twelve dollars eleven ninety nine at Smoky Mountain Knife Works and it's so cheap that you can use a little extra money and get yourself a key clump canoe so my friends there you have it the Winchester and the BCB Cardiff Put them side by side. So you got your different size options. This one I don't know if there was a spring. I imagine there was. And it just probably broke out. Broke off. Because these springs aren't really made to last forever. But there you go. Tell me which one you like better. It's hard for me to decide. I mean, this one does have um, more functions to it. And you do have the spring. Whereas this one, you have your locking, uh, um, locking mechanism when you pull your tool out. But anyway, there you guys go. Till next time, take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.